Hey gang, welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Thanks a lot for making a little time to watch the video today. Late night here in the tackle room, and man, I am beat today. It's been one of those days. I got up this morning, had a, did lake map breakdowns, fished a moment, uh, went to the gym for about an hour and a half, had podcasts to do, came back, did more fish the moment lake map breakdowns, had some different meetings I had to run around to, uh, went to jujitsu practice later tonight, uh, working around the house so by the time i got ready for tonight's video it's pretty late so i'm a little ragged right now so anyway what we're gonna do actually i do most of these videos at night before the next morning so this is that saturday morning you're watching this but it was friday night when i did the video but anyway i thought it would be a fun video today i'm going to show you guys and give you guys some tips and advice on what has been the number one most productive lure for me so far this summer uh, in the, you know, basically from the June up to now period, as far as the lure I've caught the most bass on, and also give you a couple honorable mentions, the ones that's done pretty good too, but I'm gonna show you what the, the, what's been the number one lure for me this summer. And um, real quick, if you guys are interested in any of this, um, they're available at Baitworks. You guys know I'm working with them. I'll have the link in the description, and you can order anything I'm talking about here today through Baitworks. It's a great way to help support the channel if you use that link. Thanks very much on that. Okay guys, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you what it is and then I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish it and why it's been so productive. It's been the three inch mega bass dark sleeper swim bait here. This is this lure right here. I've caught more bass on it as far as numbers of fish over the past month and a half than I have any other bait that I have. Um, other honorable mentions that I'll talk about with, you know, if uh, I've been catching quite a few on the black and blue old school jig. Uh, the Mega Bass Z2 crankbaits produced with me, and I've also caught a bunch of fish this summer drop shot in that Mega Bass Hasendong Shad. This is by far the dark sleeper in the three inch size has been my number one producer all summer long. And this thing, we're just now getting into the time frame where I really catch a lot of fish on it. So you guys have seen the knockoffs out there. There's some big tackle companies that have tried to copy the dark sleeper, but don't get fooled, this is the real deal. You know, it's got the thing that makes this thing unique. You know, it's got the uh, keel weight in the bottom here, which makes it, uh, it's really, it's more of a jig than it is a swim bait. Uh, it's got the, you know, the uh, fin here that covers the hook. It's got a good solid hook on there, super stiff. Um, you get them pinned with that, they never get away. I do usually on this thing, I'll give you guys a little tip. I usually bend that hook angle out just a little bit. It seems like I get them a little bit better if I bend it out slightly. Um, just super well balanced. Uh, it's called a swim bait, but I don't fish it like a swim bait. I fish this bait like a jig. So anyway, what I've been doing with it, um, how I've been catching them, is ever since the bass started moving off the bank, like in June during the post spawn, and even up until now, um, there's a, in my opinion, like half the bass in man-made impoundments, they go to secondary or main link points. Now, if you're fishing, you know, natural body water or places that don't have those points. There's still other ways you can catch them, but the places I'm catching them on are those places they moved out after spawning and they live on these points all year long. The secondary points were more productive for me in June, like the secondary creek points. And then as July got into now, from like July into August and September, those main lake points tend to be a lot better. But what I'm doing this with guys, I'm fishing this on 10 pound test Seaguar and Viz X4 carbon line. I'm using that seven foot, two inch mega bass perfect pitch rod, which is like a medium heavy rod, um, seven to one lose bait cast reel. And I'm throwing this thing out there, um, basically getting my boat, the, the boat, the depth, it depends on the water visibility, but I've been fishing it mainly on Stockton Lake, Table Rock Lake, Bull Shoals Lake, some on Grand Lake. If you've got water visibility in that three to six foot range, I usually get my boat like in 20 foot of water out off the point ends and sides. And I just start fan casting. I fan cast uh, up, I'll throw it as far as I can towards the bank, work it out all the way to 20 feet and just fan cast all around the point sides. But the key to catching fish on this bait, guys, it's all about the retrieve. You have to fish it like a jig and I hop it pretty high. I hop it, you know, sometimes two foot off the bottom, not stroking it, but um, I don't dr just drag it on the bottom and I'm not just shaking it, I'm popping it pretty good like this, so like, you know, popping a jig a little bit off the bottom. And 90% of the time when they get it, 
it's like you'll you'll hop the jig and they'll be there when you hop it. It's like they get it as soon as you pop it off the, the bottom and 10% of the time you can see your line tick as the bait's falling down. Falls pretty slow. Kind of, this bait comes in a couple different sizes. Um, my favorite size for the three inch uh, dark sleeper is the, is the half ounce size. I find that I like the way that falls. It's pretty versatile. You can cover a lot of different water ranges with it. And that's the one I've been catching most of the fish on. There's a lot of different colors available. To be honest with you guys, the colors don't really matter much in my opinion. I do like the shad patterns like this, if it's uh, brighter and sunny or if the water's really clear and they make some crawfish patterns. Um, I can grab one here. Um, they make some uh, different crawfish patterns like that. Um, and if the water's got a little bit more color into it, sometimes like if it's down three foot or so, I'll go to the crawfish pattern. But guys, this is the one I've caught more bass this summer on the three inch mega bass dark sleeper than any other lure in my tackle box. Um, it's something that if you guys haven't tried, um, you'll definitely be impressed with it. Don't be fooled by the copies and the knockoffs that are out there. Get the real deal. These things are not that expensive. They're under $6. Um, so they're affordable to everybody out there. So anyway, guys, hope that helps you guys catch a few more fish. I know, I know you can get some bites on it if you just try it and we'll check in with y'all later. See ya.